it's industry night. Stewart Savage decided to pull a surprise on us for the release of her sophomore album, Red. Red is romance, red is expression, and red is dance. And after a year long of maternity leave, she is back. Yes, I am looking forward to what she has prepared for us, especially after her debut album, Once Upon a Time, which was released in 2013 with songs like Eminado, Eminado, Love Me, Love Me, Love Me, the list goes on. I don't, I don't even know which one's my favorite. <laughs> Anyways, guys, it's time for some interview. I am Melissa, this is Disrupt TV. Don't go anywhere. Press. Get your body right for it Freedom. When the sun goes away all right, Tio, how are you doing? I'm great. How are you? You look gorgeous. Thank you. So do you. <laughs> Thank you. So yeah, it's your big night mm. today. Your second album. Yes. So what do you have to say about it? What do you want to tell us? <clears throat> red is a bold color. Why did you pick red? Exactly. Because of that. It's fierce. It's fearless. It's bold. It's exciting. It's bright. It's in your face. And um, that's where I am in my, in, my, um, in my walk of life right now, in my career. I feel very fearless. I feel um, happy. Um, and I'm excited. Is yeah. that due to motherhood? Does that? Absolutely. <laughs> I give my son the credit for everything because before, you know, you second guess a lot of things that you do. Um, but when you go through childbirth, it just, it, it makes you see life in a completely different light. So, yeah. All right. So why did you decide to pull a Beyonce on us? <laughs> I don't actually know if it's a Beyonce because she actually dropped the album without saying anything. I just, um, I've announced it. So it's just, basically I was working on it while I was pregnant, heavily pregnant. 80% um, of the album was done. And um, it was just how it how it happened. You know, I couldn't drop it um, when I was pregnant, obviously, because I wouldn't have been able to do the promo work. And yeah, and also right after I gave birth, I had to spend time with my son and take some time out. So this was just the perfect time to release it, yeah. So what, which, what would you say is your favorite song from the album? Give us a little hint before we listen to it. Ooh! So when I, when I what do you guys song? deserve for me to give you a hint? Um, we're cool. We're the coolest <laughs> TV in town. You are, you are, you are. I'll give you that. Um, to be honest, uh, one of my favorites is track number one, which is called... Yes. The first one. Um, yes, um, it's Adura. Um, it's called It's Prayer. And um, it's just... It's just that record that just is it's different. It's different um, um, and it's not what you'd expect from Tiwa Savage, so look out. All right, different, nice, all right. Well, like, well, just one last question. Who would you say is your biggest competition? Um, my biggest competition is Tiwa Savage. I'm with the sexy Emma Naira and guess what, yeah. We're matching. We got our neutral tones going, you know. Feeling good, you know, we're here to celebrate Tiwa Savage, Red Album. So proud of her, you know, she works really hard and she's making a big way for the female artists and that's why I'm here to support. Throughout her career, I love Oh My Gao. I feel like she, her flow on that song was so amazing. She has so many good songs, but that one is my personal favorite. I like the fact that she's a real musician, you know what I mean? Like, um, she can hold her own anywhere in the world. She. She can actually sing, she can actually hold a, a, a good note. She definitely has my respect as a musician. And then I love a couple of songs that she played, you know, because I got a chance to listen to that album before it was put out. And um, there was this song on the album that I hoped she would, she would she would put out herself. But she eventually gave it to Chrisette Michelle and it was, it was a great song it called them A Couple of Forevers. Sheila is excited. Uh -huh. Energy pumping. I love to ask Abby, your love, the Motimari. Number one. She's respectful. Number three. No competition. Ah, somebody left the scene nine months, came back, and she's still relevant. No, love. no competition. Don't allow it. If you want me to sing my favorite to our service song, it's Love Me, Love Me, Love is my favorite song. Love me, love me, love me. Love me. I, don't, I don't think Tiwa has a competition. I think Tiwa's in a, in a lane of her own. I, th I think. We do a lot of that competition things there. I think everyone's just in their lane of their own. I don't think Tiwa has a competition at all. I am surrounded by DJ Untouchable. Kidakus, KID, KUDZ. You know, we're out here to support the queen of the music industry in Nigeria. So that's what we have for, man. You know what I'm saying? Fresh year, Louis. You know, I'm a little dying, but I'm here to support Tiwa Savage tonight. Yeah. And I go by the name of Melissa, aka Ijoma, aka Money. I'm joking. <laughs> I love her swag. I love her sexiness. She's amazing. I love her. I love her voice. I love her personality. You know, she stands for greatness. So, what's your favorite song? 
T West song. My darling, everybody would be saying my darling. darling. One of her favorite song ever that I liked. I think it's wanted. She doesn't have a competition. T West competition is T West Savage. I've heard that a lot tonight, you know, funny enough. I'm telling you. Alright guys, I'm done. I've done some few interviews for you guys, but guess what? I've been, I've, I can hear the song from here and the vibe and people are having fun in there. I have to go. So I'm going to grab a drink and I'll see you guys inside. So.